Now, the only other thing that's probably important to mention just before we wrap this one up is that these don't happen in isolation. Just as we looked at redox reactions as being a transfer of electrons from one species to another, one species being oxidized, one being reduced, the same sort of thing happens here. And even if we're looking at an example such as hydrochloric acid and water, we can identify our conjugates on the basis of the fact that the base will be the species that has lost the proton and the conjugate acid will be the species that has gained the proton. In order for us to identify pairs then we have an acid and its conjugate base. So one pair would be HCl and Cl minus and a second pair would be the base. In this case, water is actually acting as a base because it's accepting a proton to become the hydronium ion, H3O+. Now, of course, this is the sort of situation that you're going to get more often. You're going to have a look at a number of different types of equations, not usually ones that involve a strong acid, such as hydrochloric acid. We're more likely to get examples where, for example, we might have the, um, oops, we might have the uh, bicarbonate ion, and again, we can look at water. And this is gonna be an interesting one because you may already realize that the bicarbonate ion can um, act either as an acid or a base, just like water. So let's call it, uh, in this case, uh, a base. So if it's gonna be a base, then that means the water is going to act as an acid. The uh, acid is going to donate its proton, so we're gonna get get OH minus ions as the conjugate base. And that's going to mean that if the uh, bicarbonate ions accepting that proton, it's going to be an H2CO3. That's the conjugate acid. Practice with these to get your conjugate pairs. You can then write them afterwards um, so that we've got HCO, whoops, that's hard to see, HCO three minus and H2CO3 are going to be one pair and over here H2O and the OH minus are going to be another conjugate pair. Have a practice with some examples to build your confidence in understanding how to recognize and identify conjugate pairs and also to look at the relative strengths of an acid or base based on the uh, strength of its conjugate. Thanks for watching.